Okay everyone, I got wind. Uh, as you can see, another chair bites the dust. And the reason for it is to um, to get this section here, which is a swivel of the chair. That's the new Amtec, and that's the new hub as well. And uh, that's the three blades. I'm just about to fit the tail. Which you'll probably see me doing it now. Okay. Fingers crossed, there's a little groove in there. It has, to, it has to go in there. Get an enforcer. That is it, that's the tail done. So what I do, along here I just cut a, a slot uh, using that machine, the router, and then uh, the ply just goes in there, just goes 10 mil into it. You can still see a bit of the slot there, I'll probably fill that as well. And uh, and that's it. I wanted to put the actual logo. I wanted to have like a post of, of the Gotwin, the, the foot. And uh, hopefully this will work okay. I left this section here because here is going to be um, going to try and get like a pipe that will just cover all this. All the connection, will, I'll just fix them onto here. This this is solid, which is what I wanted and what it needs to be. And uh, so soon we, I'm going to have my Amtec up and running. So I'm going to try and turn it this way without knocking things. And that is it. I might even be able to test it today if uh, there's not much wind today. So this is it. This is the hub that came from, uh, from America. This fits in a shaft perfectly. Actually when you pull it out it makes this pop sound. And, uh, and that's it. So I'm gonna have this baby up and running. And uh, as you probably know already, I've got that one there. Today there's well, there's no wind, so it's not really working. But I just leave it there, just charge the batteries. Whenever there is wind, sometimes at night time, I can actually hear it going crazy. That's the solar panel as well. So yeah. Another wind turbine sort of done, which is cool. Just gotta get some pipes, maybe paint it, and uh, remove the other turbine and do a bit of testing on this. I just gotta get some leads now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get two, two leads to uh, connect to this. So I don't lose a lot of volts coming down the, the cable. Uh, and basically, yeah, this is the Amtec, 30 volts for the people in America. Because I know in Gotwin, there's a lot of, well, there's a few people from America having a look at the, at the actual site. You can pick this up there quite cheap, and uh, I've got this one from eBay. And that's it, and then the actual hub, there's another fella that does it. And I was really, really impressed with this because. The way he's done it is within sort of one mil or two because when you do pull it out it just goes blop 
And when I try to put it in, I put a bit of Loctite in there as well. And what I found, I had to clean the Loctite because um, the air, I, w I wasn't able to push it in because of the, the actual air trapped in there. So my hat's off to him. So yeah, so from, so from around here, from around here to somewhere along probably there to protect the motor, it's going to have like a, a pipe this makes the whole thing waterproof. The electric's going to go through here, through that cable there, well through the hole there, and it'll just come down like the other one. A bit closer, I'm going to try and turn it sideways so you can probably just close, basically there's crap everywhere. So this is basically what I've been doing uh, on Sunday. I started about 8 o'clock and um, yeah, it's taking me, what's it, about 12 now, it's taking me 4 hours to assemble the whole thing. Uh, the motor, put the hub on, and butchered this chair. And uh, see, another good thing about taking these things apart, you get loads and loads of bolts and, and little bits that come with it.